Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live. I am Final Form Freezer, man. And the only reason I call myself that because I really feel like that my character can do it all. And it ain't about his size, man. It's just about the way that I play. I built him the way that I play. To be honest with y'all, man, my character from last year, this character right here was better at 86 than my character was last year. Before you do anything, man, make sure that you uh, like the video and uh, subscribe for more daily 2K content. We're going to have at least one video a day. We're going to also be starting uh, my career probably tomorrow. Uh, we got Madden starting back uh, tomorrow because, you know, this 2K grind, you know, opening week, you just got to be on top of it, man. I think we did. I think we did enough to get a pretty good push and we got a pretty good following here, man. So, you know, whatever kind of videos you guys want to see, just let me know. But, um... Me being a 2K mastermind, man, I had to take off the contacts and put the glasses on, man, so you guys know. But uh, y all, y all, this ain't what y'all here for, man. What you guys are here for is this. Not the guns. But uh, y'all here for this, uh, my player uh, attribute video, man. So without further ado, let's just get right to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through everything and just kind of tell you guys why I did what I did. So uh, we're going to start from uh, left to right. Uh... My player is a 6'9", small forward. I feel like this is the best build because I'm, I'm 230 pounds also. So 6'9", small forward, 230 pounds. I left uh, everything the same except for the shoulder width. I maxed out the shoulder width just because it didn't, it did, excuse me, it didn't matter. And I don't know if it really matters as far as rebounding or whatever, if it makes me wide or what, but um, that's where I am. And uh, just going straight down the line, man, this is the build. I mean, you can look at it and see. Uh, I maxed out shooting off the dribble. At first, I was thinking, oh, this might have been a waste, or maybe I shouldn't have maxed out shooting off the dribble. But the reason I really, I, I, as I began to look at it, I realized you you actually want to max out shooting off the dribble because shot close. That 77, like, uh, Lob Mob says it all the time, 70 some odd is workable, but with shot close, 77 is is like 90 almost. You, you know what I mean? Like, um, if you had a 70, if you got a, a above 70 in shot close, that's great. And then uh, my mid-range off the dribble. I mean, these, these are insignificant uh, stats right here. I, I'm not, I, I should never be moving when I'm shooting the ball. The whole point of a sharpshooter is to shoot the ball off the catch. You don't want to be dribbling. If I have to dribble, something has gone horribly wrong. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use my shot close. So, uh, you know, that's why, that's why I maxed it out. Layups and dunks, man. Standing layup, 70. Uh, driving layup, 65. Like I said, I only had like two or three bars in my inside scoring last year, so it was worse than this. Uh, but I'm going to show you how you get around all of this in a second. Okay, so a driving dunk is, uh, driving layup is uh, 65. Uh, standing dunk is 70. So that's 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 decent. You can, you can do something with that. Uh, driving dunk is 61, so I never really want to be doing that unless... It's a reverse, and I'm going to show you that in a second. Um, contact dunk 43. I should never be contact dunking anybody unless I just completely catch somebody by surprise or something like that. It ain't going down. So, uh, really, I'll show you how to get around the layups and the um, and the dunks in a minute, man. Mid-range, I pushed that up. Uh, I left three bars out of I pushed it up to 85. The reason I pushed it up to 85 is because I'm not going to take uh, very many mid-range shots. And... Uh, all of my videos that you guys have seen, I've had 85 shooting on both mid-range and three. I had a couple points left over at the end, so I moved my three-point shot up uh, to 91, and uh, that that that's cool. I don't know why, but it seems like if I boost my shot or when my shot is above 85, it becomes inconsistent. But now I, I, I put in the work to get it back up there, so so that's good. Uh, post scoring, nil. Now, when we get the extra points, I might put some points in post score, and I may not. I may max out my three, you know, when we get up to the legend or whatever. I don't know. But um, I'm going to see how important post scoring becomes. I feel like the way that he is now, if I put all those points in post scoring, I might be unstoppable. But I don't even know what this goes all the way up to. So it's just 35 right now. I mean, I could damn near green some. I don't think I could green anything with this, but I would have to green it for, for, for anything to go in right now. Agility maxed it out. Uh, speed 65, acceleration uh, 65, vertical 66. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, strength, I pushed it to 60. I think it actually, with my guy, it actually goes to like 63, 64. You guys know that I'm a big believer in five. It's got to be five. It's, it's either zero or five. So if it, 
if it's uh, 60, then if it, okay, if it's 61, it may as well be 60. If it's 64, it may as well be 60. If it's 66, it may as well be 65. I feel like that the game is not intelligent enough to differentiate between anything that's not a zero or a five. That's just the way I feel. I could be completely wrong. I could be down there with somebody with 62 strength and they'll bully me out of the paint. But that's just the way that I feel. So I did the same thing for rebounding. I think my rebounding goes to 72. I uh, pushed the rebounding all the way up uh, to 70. So box out 70, offensive rebound 70, defensive rebound 70. 70 is not that good as far as battling in the paint. But it gives me a chance. And all I really want is a chance. That combined with my strength, I'm able to box people out. I can push people out of the paint. You're not, And more importantly, you're not going to push me around. So that's really all I really care about. I was just taking my time there. Playmaking, ball control, 65. I think I could have pushed it to 70, but or it may have stopped, topped out at 69. And like I just explained, if it doesn't go over, if it's not a 0 or a 5, I don't believe in it. So like right here, this pass vision 66, I don't think that extra one point does anything. Pass accuracy 61, if I could have made it be 60, it would have been it would have been 60. But you know, just with just with what I uh what I did, you know, I just left it at 65. But leaving my play, not maxing out my playmaking gave me the extra points to put in other categories like the layups and dunks and um and my three-point shooting and all of that. I guess in hindsight, I probably could have left layups and dunks out, but I want to do some of those, so you know it is what it is. Defending, I maxed out defense. Now, you're probably going to say, well, your lateral quickness is only 59. Yes, but the stat that I was going for right here was block. Block topped out at 75, and because that topped out at 75 and everything else was at 74, I was like, that 75 block is worth it because I can block shots at the same rate that a stretch big would block shots. So, I mean, like I said, for all intents and purposes, this guy's a stretch big, but he's faster, more agile, and, and does everything better than a stretch big. So, if, you, if you're going to make a stretch big, you might as well make uh, uh, a small forward. Uh, anyway, inventory and all that good stuff. Uh, uh, where we at? Animations. Uh, the reason that I was telling you guys about dunks and layups how you get around that like i said all my dribble moves i just left i left all dribble moves everything on default man everything else is on default jump shots you choose whatever jump shot is good for you um i'm not gonna show my jump shot and get it passed even though i'm sure you guys already know what it is anyway uh but <coughs> well, anyway um so for dunks and layups your signature style this is the only thing that's really important um under the rim just a real quick on uh real quick one-handed dunks under the rim or what have you like that uh, regular under the basket you don't want any back scratches because you're gonna get it it's gonna get thrown out of there it's just gonna happen straight arm tomahawks uh this is one that i really feel like i mean it's almost unblockable if you can get the animation nobody's really gonna block it you you may miss it but it's not gonna get blocked and uh this is the most important dunk i feel like is in the package the baseline reverse and i'm gonna show y'all why um, show you guys why I use that. Like I said, everything else is on default. You need to choose your own uh, jump shot just because my jump shot may not work for you guys. Uh, but anyway, check it out. So, oh, and our uh, layup is on, layup package is Jamal Crawford. And the reason I'm saying that layups and dunks, the way that you can get around it a lot of times, uh, I'm going to give you all a little tip. Me and my buddy Rampage, we were looking on, looking on Operation Sports. And Mike Wang and the guys, they said that your layups, you want to do it as soon as you, as soon as your feet leave the ground. You see how I'm greening these layups, man? Because I have the ability to green layups, and this is on Superstar. Uh, I'll show y'all that in a second. Because I got the ability to green layups. Well, with the reverse, you want to do it as soon as you cross under the rim, though, not when your feet leave the ground. But uh, because I have the ability to green layups and 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 get good layup releases, I can. I don't have to. I, I can get away with not having the most. Um, the most. Uh, Layup package, really. And now, uh, if you want to do layups, all you have to do, if you want to do the reverse, man, when you're going toward the baseline, if you want to lay it up, just come off the, come off the, uh, come off the turbo, and just hold toward the baseline. But really, what you're really gonna do most of the time, people are gonna be trailing you, trailing you, and you know they're gonna just hit, uh, they're gonna hit the uh, block button as soon as they do. So when you're going, when you're attacking the basket. You really want to, this dunk, this this reverse layup, or uh, reverse dunk, I swear, it's going to save you so much. If you start doing it, like if you got a, uh, if you got a player that really can't dunk, uh, it, it'll save your life, man. Make sure that you got the ball in your hand, in the hand on the baseline, because if you don't, like, like if you got it right there, he's going to do that dunk. 
And if he does that dunk, you're going to get that block. They're going to throw it away because it's going to make him all gather off two feet. So make sure that you got the ball in the hand on the baseline and then you do that. I swear, they're, they're, nobody's ever ready for this. Nobody is ever ready for this. You just do that dunk right there, take off, and you're good to go. And one more thing that you can do as well is floaters. When you get in the lane, you just want to, you can float it, man. And like I said, I can green those almost every time. Like, like I said, me and my buddy Rampage, we found out that that layups and floaters, they they you're judging those by when your feet leave the floor. So if you let it go as soon as you feel like his feet are about to leave the floor, you see that you're gonna green it every time. And if you got tear drop, if you have tear dropper, you don't have anything to worry about. You, it, it doesn't matter who's down there, and I messed that up just because he did the Jamal Crawford or whatever. But it really doesn't matter who's down there. If you can green green um, floaters with uh, consistency, you don't have anything to worry about. So all you gotta do is just watch for his feet as soon as, they, as soon as they're leaving the floor. As long as you're in that upper 75 quadrant, man, you should be good to go. Dang, this video already 11 minutes. Um, but that's really it, man. I really don't have anything else for you guys. I just wanna let you know, these are the ways, these are the reasons that I, I sometimes call myself the 2K mastermind, because I find ways, listen, if you're playing this character, I'll show you my badges and all that in a second too. If you're playing a sharpshooter, you shouldn't be dribbling. You want to have enough playmaking so that you can dribble, so that you're not slow with the ball on fast breaks. But other than that, you should just be catching and shooting, relocating, moving around the key. And if somebody, uh, if you're, if you lay the ball up, I would almost say if you don't have a completely clear lane and somebody's on the other side of the rim, you need to be passing the ball. That's just it. You don't need to go in there if it's traffic. But if you're going down there and you already see it, just a toward the baseline, reverse that. They I might get that block one out of 10 times. And uh, anyway, what was I about to show you guys? Oh yeah, my badges. So uh, the badges that I have worked so hard for are these. I got game point, uh, everything else, catch and shoot, corner specialist, uh, deep range dead eye, limitless range, and uh, mid range dead eye. Like those are all the badges that I have. And then these are my big man badges. Um, we got break starter, dimer, flashy passer, uh, Lob City Passer, which I showed you guys how to get that easy defensive stopper because I feel like that's That might be the most useless badge because you can still get dropped So I mean it is what it is. It's hard to get but hey, I feel like it makes a little difference pick dodger You're gonna you'll get that trying to get defensive stopper. So don't even worry about that pick pocket uh, That's a pretty good badge brick wall Lob City finisher useless for me because I'm never gonna be down there and uh, one man fast break oh, Of course, I got it um, uh, Enforcer expressive uh, microwave on court coach and uh, spark plug on on court coach is really just for my, my my career so that I can um so that I can get the ball whenever I want to. But I I promise you, man, these are my two the two badges that I love the most that are not um that are not my core badges because these do make you play a ridiculous. But the ones that I love the most are these uh, break starter because I play like a big man. So when I'm getting rebounds. I can just throw the outlet pass with confidence. Like I said, y'all see, I told you I lost 54 times. I'm 90 and 54 in the park. Um, but I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm, if, if I can have a winning record in the park, you can too. I'm fucking garbage, dog. But anyway, and I'm pro five right now. So, hey, it is what it is. About to be an all-star. Uh, break starter so I can throw the outlet passes. And dimer so that when I throw the ball to a wide open person, you know, they should be able to hit the shots or whatever. So, Man, we 13 minutes in. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's my bill. I don't want to keep keep up, uh, take up too much of you guys' this time. Um, hopefully, it was enjoyable, and hopefully, it worked out. It, it'll work out for you guys and give you some ideas of uh, what you can skip. I also have an initial build on the channel. So if you want to, um, like, if you're doing it, if you just bought your, if you just got your character, and you just got yourself some VC, and you just want to, um, and you want to, you know, know how you should start out. Uh, that, that video is also here. I'll leave that in the description as well. But anyway, I got to go, man. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, if you didn't take anything away from the video, just remember, you're a sharpshooter. So if you if you can't get, um, if you're not able to get the lane completely clear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you these dunks real quick. If you don't have the lane completely clear uh, for the, for the, for the uh, quick tomahawk dunks, then just just go for, the, uh, go for the baseline, man. But look, those dunks, they hardly ever get blocked. So that's why I put on the ones. I ain't put on anything, anything that's gonna get blocked quick. These dunks are, they'll get you by, man. It ain't gotta look good, it ain't gotta be pretty. 
All you want to do is put it in the bucket. But anyway, I got to go, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's already 15 minutes. This is my final form freezer uh, build. And uh, that's it. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this mug. If y'all got any other videos that y'all want to see me do, hey, let me know. And I got you. Peace.